Okay, today we will be doing the problems on the chapter oscillations. Amplitude 20 centimeter. Amplitude 20 centimeter. 
and time period 0.5 second and time period 0.5 seconds find its maximum speed and speed when its displacement is 10 cm find its maximum speed and its displacement and its speed when the displacement is 10 okay first amplitude is given 20 cm a 20 cm change in meter at 0 0.2 meter Time period T is given 0 0.5 seconds. We write omega. Omega formula is 2 pi by T. 2 pi by 0 0.5. So point will go, thing comes here. Answer will come 4 pi. Radial per second. Let us keep pi as it is for the time. And we have to find the maximum velocity, V max. Formula is A omega. That is 0 0.2 into 4 pi. 0 0.8 pi meter per second. We write the answer into the pi. If you put the value pi, we get the answer. I mean the without pi. Second question says find the speed when the velocity when the displacement is given. That means A square minus H square. This formula. Only times this. Omega value we have 4 pi, amplitude is 0 0.2. Displacement given in the question is 10 cm, that is 0 0.1 square. We will calculate all this and the answer comes 2.18, 2.18 meter per second. If you see calculated, you can calculate the answer, it's coming this much. Now we are in question number 4. Question number 4 over here. A particle is undergoing simple harmonic motion. A particle is undergoing SHL. SHL of amplitude 1.5 meter. Of amplitude 1.5 meter. And period of 6.28 seconds and period of 6.28 seconds. What is the displacement when the velocity is 0 0.5 meter per second? <coughs> what is the displacement when the velocity is 0 0.5 meter per second? We we'll write on the information first. Amplitude is 1.5 meter, right? A value 1.5 meter. Period time period is given 6.28 seconds. 6.28 seconds. We find omega. 2 pi by t. 2 pi is 3.14 by 6.28. These two will cancel. Answer is only 1. 1 radian per second. We have to find the displacement when the velocity is given. We use the formula V is equal to omega a square minus x square. We have to find the displacement value. V is given, velocity is given 0 0.5. We put this omega value is 1. Root of 1.5 square minus x square. Squaring for the sign, we get 0.5 square is equal to root we go. X square value will become 1.5 square minus 0.5 square. And now we find the value of x. The value of x will come 1.41 meter. Using capital and finding the square after that. <coughs> now we are doing question number 5. Question number 5. The amplitude of a particle of mass 10 to the minus 10 kg performing SHL. The amplitude of a particle of mass 10 to the power minus 2 kg performing SHL is 8 cm. And frequency of vibration is 10 Hz. What is the maximum restoring force? 
what is the maximum restoring force? Okay, this time we have to calculate force. Mass is given 10 to the power minus 2 k. Amplitude given 8 centimeter. 8 that is 0 0.08 meter. Frequency given. 10 hertz, 10 hertz. You have to find the maximum force, the restoring force. Then, right actually, force formula will be mass into acceleration. So mass acceleration formula, you know, is minus omega square x. Or in case of this one, maximum they say the next one will take a maximum. That is a minus. Is equal to a a minus. The minus sign will shift this side that to the restoring for that minus f max x is equal to m omega square a. 10 to minus 2 omega value is 2 pi f 2 pi into 10 square amplitude is 0.08. Now using the calculator, we will calculate the answer to the 316. 316 meter. This was the answer to question number 5. Now question number 6 I am doing here. <coughs> question says, <coughs> A small body of mass 100 gram. A small body of mass 100 gram is undergoing SHL. Is undergoing SHA of amplitude of amplitude 100 centimeter and period 0 0.20 seconds and period 0 0.20 seconds. What is the maximum value of the force acting on the body? What is the Maximum value of the force acting on the body. <clears throat> what is the phase difference between the acceleration and the displacement? What is the phase difference between the acceleration and the displacement? Mass is 100 gram, that is right. Question number 6. Mass is 100 gram, change in kg, comes 0.1 kg. 100 by 1000. We got mass by right? Then, time is amplitude is 100 centimeter. A is equal to 100 centimeter, which is same as 1 meter. The time period is 0.2. 0 0.20 seconds, therefore omega value 2 pi by t. This will come 10 pi radians per second. Pi value put 3.14. Answer will come 31.4 radians per second. Pi value also put 3.14. Maximum value of force on the body. The V F max will be mass into acceleration maximum that is minus omega square t. Minus sign will shift is the restoring force minus f max. Mass is 0 0.1. Omega value is 3 point, 31.4 square and a value is 1. And now we find it. Answer will come 98.6. What is the phase difference between the acceleration and the displacement? We know the formula of acceleration. Acceleration formula is minus omega square raise. Acceleration is opposite to the displacement. That comes in the definition only. When the two vectors are in opposite direction, how much is the angle between them? 180 degrees. And therefore, phase difference means angle wise difference. Phase difference is equal to 180 degrees. Because acceleration and displacement are with the minus sign. Minus sign is opposite in direction. 
So angle between them is 180 degree. Base means angle between them. <coughs> okay. Now, question number 7. Question number 7. Executing SHM. A particle is executing SHM. If if V one and V two are the speeds of the particles, if V one and V two are the speeds of the particle at the distances x one and x two, at the distances x one and x two from the mean position. X1 and X2 from the mean position, comma show that the frequency of oscillation is given by show that the frequency of oscillation x is given by 1 by 2 pi bracket v1 squared minus v2 squared upon x2 squared minus x1 squared power 1 by 2. This is, this is what we have to prove. So, velocity formula will apply. What is the formula? V1. V1 is equal to omega root of a squared minus x1 squared. We will describe, we will be doing describing both the sides. Okay? V1 squared is equal to omega squared a squared minus x1 squared.
टेम्परेचर इज वन सेंटीमीटर ए वन सेंटीमीटर दैट इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन मीटर मैक्सिमम फोर्स ऑन इट इज एफ मैक्स गिवन एफ मैक्स इज गिवन जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स फोर जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स If 
in the same question if they would have asked to find the initial phase we say phi by to pi by to we will say that or the other method is initial value the initial time value is zero so we will take the angle zero t value is zero what is the value of angle coming angle value is pi by 4 this is the value of pi initial phase initial position which initial angle is pi by 4 now we have one question that is question number 10 In the question number, uh, harmonic oscillator is described by their primary equation as y equal to 0 0.02 sine sin theta e minus pi by 4. Pi by 4. <coughs> Where y is in meter, process y is in meter, t is in seconds, t is in seconds. What is first part amplitude, second part angular frequency, part C only frequency, part D time period, and part E initial phase, and part F phase when T is equal to 0 0.001 second. Okay, first of all. We will write down below this one equation, comparative equation we write. When y is there, we will write the equation in sine form. We will write sine omega t plus y. We will write in this form. A value will compare. A value will become 0 0.02 meter. Because y was in meter. And A value will also come in meter. Omega value is this much. This is first answer. Second part, omega value will become 3140 radian per. This is called angular velocity. We got that answer. C. Only frequency omega formula 2 pi f is equal to 3140. Therefore, a value will come 3140 by 2 pi which is 3.14. Oh, now cancel. The frequency answer will come 500. 500 hertz. Part D in a time period. We know time period will be 1 by f. Once you know the frequency 1 by 500. 0 0.02 seconds 0 0.002 seconds or 2 into 10 to minus 3 seconds E initial phase initial phase that is initial angle for initial phase we put a value of time 0 the answer can be minus 5 by 4 so that minus 5 by 4 now phase phase then T is given, timing is given 0 0.001 seconds. We put that value. And phi is given, time value we put this much. That means we write 3140, timing value 0 0.001 minus pi by 4. Pi will put 3.14 by 4. And now we do the calculation from this and the answer will come. Minus 2.355 radian. If you do the calculation, so this is how we do this question. Now we will do one more last question of this chapter. This is based on energy. That is question number. Question number 33. Question says a particle is executing SHL. A particle is executing SHL of amplitude of amplitude A capital A. At what position, comma, at what position, comma, from the mean position? From the main position, comma, is the energy half kinetic and half potential? Is the energy half kinetic and half potential? You have to find the distance from the equilibrium position that is from the main position. 
when the energy is half uh, kinetic and half potential, that means so the total energy is divided into two halves. You can write here according to question, kinetic energy is equal to potential energy. You can equate it. Kinetic energy formula we have half m v square that is half omega square x square. And potential energy formula if we have half m omega square a square minus x square. Cancelling half m will go. If it x square is coming, a square minus x square. This will come here. If two x square equal to a square, therefore x square value will come a square by two, or x value will come a by two. This is answer with the plus minus sign. This should be the value of position. Don't think that the midway half kinetic and half potential will be there because the formula is different in parabolic equation. X square. People think you know, that uh, at the midway the energy will be half potential and half kinetic. No, that is not the case in case of simple harmonic motion. The answer will come x equal to plus minus a by two. Okay, with this the chapter is over and your syllabus for the final term is also over. Thank you very much. Uh, you can uh, one correction needs to be made. Okay, when uh, I derived the expression for V, I think I did not I overlooked this. This correct. The equation must be like V plus minus a omega, and uh, it was coming as this a square minus x square by a square, then plus minus a omega. Next time it comes a square minus x square by a, this here this here cancel. So answer left over will be this plus minus omega a square minus x square. I think by mistake I wrote a square. So this square you remove and then a and a cancels. This make that necessary correction in the last time's video. So with this I wish you all the best. Give your best in your exam. Thank you.